Hi guys, my name is Honest M. I am the creator and editor of the Honestly Sis newsletter, a bi-weekly, actually a weekly newsletter um, for people who are trying to get their shit together. Um, we do stories about love, sex, and just honestly healing and trying to be better. Um, this message is for the Water Sign Collective for Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, just really quick, I don't just use tarot, I make cuss, and that's it. Let's just get into it. Oh, these messages are timeless, so whenever you come across them, they are meant for you. That's why I do not put the month in the description. Let's get to it. Now, what messages do you have for the Water Sign Collective? What messages do you have for the Water Sign Collective? What messages do you have for the Water Sign Collective? What message do you have for the Water Sign Collective? Allow us to see the cards that we need to see. Allow us to see the cards that we need to see. Allow us to see the cards that we need to see for Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. All right, the very first card that came out is release. Maybe you need to release something. Creative release. I just did, I just did the, uh, the air slide video, so I'm still got that in me. Power, ooh, release and power. Standing in your power, surrendering to get that to, 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 to own it, to stand in your power. The next card that came out was presence. Ooh, here are some good cards. And they're all about, and it's only one single angel and they're all standing in their power. The next is depth, depth, release, power, and depth. Ooh, underlying this guy. What is underlying all of this? Release power and depth. Relaxation. Hmm. Release power. Release power present in relaxation. Hmm. All right. Let's, let's see what these messages are. God, what messages do you have for Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces? What message do you have for Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces? What message do you have for Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces? Allow us to see the cards that we need to see. Allow us to see the cards that we need to see. Allow us to see the cards that we need to see. All right. First card that came out under power is the better it gets, the better it gets. Ooh, release. The better it gets, the better it gets. Card 19, the better it gets, the better it gets. That is interesting. God, what does release and presence have to do with the message for Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces? What does release and presence have to do with the message for Cancer, Scorpio, okay. and two cards popped out. So I guess these are your two messages. The subject of money is really two. Su the subject of money is really two subjects: presence, presence under release. Maybe we need to release some doubts, release the way that we're thinking about some things with money at the center of it. Maybe you're focused on your money and not being really present in the future. And then under depth, it says, I have control over the thoughts that I think. Release. Wor maybe worrying too much. Worrying, overthinking. Getting, 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 getting so caught up in your emotions and in your thoughts that you're like drowning in them. And God is just sending us a message that you are a you are in control of the thoughts that you think. And these are and and this is card twenty two and this is card thirty three. Release. Maybe God is saying release the worry, release the the overthinking, relax. We're we're in a new era. It's no time for that. God, what is the final message? I'm not, ooh, that was a, uh, I wanted to take it. I'm going to be patient. God, what is the final message you have for release and relaxation? 
to kind of give us this overall theme. What is the overall theme that you have for the Water Sign Collective regarding release and relaxation? What is the overall theme for release and relaxation? I can tell a different story of financial abundance. Yes. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Relax. Relax. <laughs> Relax. Relax. That's my message to you. Relax. You're worried. What you worried about? What are you so worried about? You're so focused and you so worried about whatever, what's going to happen. Is it going to get better? And God say, the better it gets, the better it gets to me. The more you focus on good things, the more good things are going to come to you. Stand in your power. Relax. The subject of money is really two things. You're staying so focused. You're, you're so, when it's, when this says, what this means is that when you are saying that I don't have money or when you're worried about, when you're worried about money, you're really saying I don't have money. When you're focused on your money, you're really saying to the universe, I have lack. But when you're not focused about that and when you're present and focused on whatever is going on right now in your current moment, that abundance will come to you. I'm going to read this card for you guys. The subject of money is really two subjects. One, money, plenty of money. And two, the absence of money, not nearly enough money. Often people assume that because they are speaking the words, I want more money, they are speaking positively about money. When you are speaking, feeling fear or discomfort as you speak, you are not speaking of the subject of money. You are speaking of the subject of not having enough. And the difference is very important because the first subject brings money and the second holds it away. Again, be present. Release that overthinking. You have control over your thoughts right now. You guys are worried a lot and you need to start telling yourself a different story about abundance. Relax. Stop overthinking. You're overthinking. God, what messages do you have for the Water Sign Collective? What messages do you have for the Water Signs Collective? What messages do you have for the Water Sign Collective? Alright, y'all. Sorry. <laughs> I'm supposed to be at work. I'm multitasking. All right, God. What messages do you have for the word of sign collective? Ooh. And the first card that popped out. Uh, what is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten of pentacles. Abundance. Wealth. Power. The better it gets, the better it gets. You're good. Release. Stop worrying. Stop worrying. You're good. You're good. Allow us to see the cards that we need to see. Allow us to see the cards. There we go. Ace of Cups. Abundance is coming. Message. Message. That's what I see every time I see this card. Stand in your power. Really, stop worrying. Stop worrying. You're moving towards abundance. Stop worrying. Abundance is here. Stand in your power. Don't let your thoughts, get, get control of your thoughts. You're allowing your thoughts to take you all over the place. And you need to just relax, release, and let go. Here we go. Your belief. Make sure you listen, look at our general reading. Beliefs. Focusing on the bad. So Focusing on the bad. Focusing on what happened. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. Who ain't here. Who you wish was there. Who you had to leave behind. God say, let release all of that. Let, let all that go. Look at the two cups that you have right here. Focus on those two cups. Tell yourself a different story about, about your financial situation. Release the worry. Stop worrying. Worrying is like praying for something you don't want. Stop it. Cut it out. All right, God. What message do you have about release and depth? What messages do you have about release in depth? What messages do you have about release in depth? What messages do you have about release in depth? A lot of the cards that we need to see. A lot of the cards that we need to see. 
allows us to the cards that we need to see. So what I'm the message that I'm getting right here is that because you're so caught up in your because you're swimming in your emotions, you're so caught up in your emotions right now that you you're you're missing out on the abundance that is right here for you. You so focused on your on look, you're you're so focused on your money. You're so focused on it that you're not even seeing that like your money is literally raining around you. You so focused on this one single thing that you're not seeing that you got nine other ones just floating around you. Let it go. Let it go. Let it get. Here we go. Let it go. Let it go. You got something new coming. Let it go. Release that. Relax. <laughs> That's all I can say is relax. You're worried. For what? Abundance is around you. Tell yourself a different story. It's all in your mind. I hate to I hate to be so frank, but it really is all in your mind right now. Chill out. And the three cards that popped out, and that's I'ma leave it at this. The three cards that popped out: happy endings, victory, you and your boo chilling, strength, power popping right back out. Take a gentle approach. You ain't got to be so, you don't be so hard on yourself. Calm down on yourself. Stand in your power. All of this yellow, all of this yellow solar plex, your subconscious, get, you, you, it's an illusion. Right now you're believing an illusion. You're, you're, you're swimming in your thoughts. You're believing a lie. And God is saying, that's a, it's a lie. Abundance is here. You're, you're here. You're at the victory line. You're at the victory line. You're done. But all you got to do is start telling yourself a different story. You're at the victory line. What's your belief at though? Stop focusing on what, what, what you lost. Stop, get away from these illusions. Relax. You're good. Release the worry. Let it go. Let it go. I don't even feel like I need no clarification for any of these. But I'm going to go ahead and do it just because. Just because I love y'all. I'm going to give you just a little bit of clarification. God, what are the final clarifying messages you have for Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces? The final messages you have for Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. A lot of the cards that we need. Bam. Five of Cups. See, here you go again. Focusing so hard on these. You're just so focused. Let it release it. Let it go. You're, you're just so like, oh, all I got is these two cups. That's all I got. I thought I was going to have so much more. I thought it was going to be more. It is more. It is more. I'm sorry. It is more. You're abundant. Release the worry. Get out of your head. Get out of your head. That's all I can say to you guys. Get out of your head. Release the worry. Abundance is here. Relax. I'm sorry. Relax. That was like the best little undercard that could have ever been here. See? Here we go. That's what, again. <laughs> again. God saying, once you stop focusing on what you lost, when you stop focusing on what fell and what 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 which what the three cups that ain't there abundance your happy ending is here change your belief tell yourself a different story tell yourself a different story and then right here a page of cups and the, the page of coins and the page of cups came out with the queen of pentacles all this money all this money is here Sh money you good stop worrying i'm sorry i hate to say it but it is in your head get out of it because bam here we go the world completion a new cycle you don't have to worry anymore because you're in a new day. The world, you, the world is yours. This, I see this. I hear. I see the baddest. I see Trina. You're good. Tell yourself a different story. I'm sorry. I don't even have more. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> All this clarification. The law of attraction adds power to both problems and solutions. If you are thinking lack, you gonna think lack. You gonna have lack. Stop focusing on the past. Stop focusing on what you don't have. Abundance is here for you. It's a new day for you. Relax. Release the worry. Release the doubt. Embrace the new beginning. Tell yourself a different story. 
Last message. We getting out of here because it's so easy for y'all. Y'all are good. Get out of your head. Meditation, yoga, writing, journaling, anything. Release it. Cry. Let it go. But move on. Get out of your head. Abundance is here. All of these coins, all of this abundance is here. That's all I can say to you. What's the final messages that you have? God, what's the final messages that you have for the water sign collective? Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. What's the final messages you have for the water sign collective? Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Allow us to see the cards that we need to see. Allow us to see the cards that we need to see. Allow us to see the cards that we need to see. Allow us to see the cards that we need to see. Allow us to see the cards that we need to see. I think it's this one, y'all. <laughs> what y'all think this is? <laughs> what y'all think this is? What y'all think this is? I know. Dream a beautiful dream. Get out of your head. Dream a beautiful dream. Get out of your head. That's what I see when I see this. Dream a beautiful dream. Get out of your head after the storm. Yep, there, that's what I was saying. Stop focusing. Stop focusing on all the bad. Let it go. It's over. Dream a beautiful dream. Card 19, clarifying the message. Stand in your power. Let me read this final message and we're going to get all out of here. All right, 19. Dream a beautiful dream. The urge to create is the same within you as it is for the universal creator. It has... <clears throat> the urge to create is the same within you as it is for the universal creator. It also has the same magical ability to draw harmony into being and to find beautiful order in chaos. This includes bringing harmony and the perfect balance of well-being into your body, mind, and emotions. I'm just going to put this up. <laughs> this is also the part of you that wants to dream of a beauty, beauty and bring it to life. In, in, blah, blah, blah. This is also the part of you that wants to dream of beauty and bring it to life in, in as many ways as possible. In how you eat, dress, look, behave, make love, create art, relate to your community, write your poetry by moonlight, or bathe by candlelight. If you have come to believe that your love of beauty is superficial rather than a genuine expression of your heart's appreciation for symmetry, harmony, and grace, then you may block your ability to create harmony in your life. You may believe it is an unworthy goal, yet beauty, genuine beauty, rather than superficial glamour, flows from within. It is, an, it is an expression. It is an expression of radiance within the heart and love of life. If you have struggled with the obsession, with the obsessive attitude towards beauty, then tent. Wait, I'm sorry, guys. Let me calm down. It's an illusion, is what God is saying. This is an illusion. Here we go. If you have struggled with the obsessive attitude towards beauty that tends to prevail in human culture, then it is time you look at nature instead. Her beauty is boundless, quirky, and endlessly diverse. If you feel blocked, thawed, or contained by others in your quest to bring your beautiful dreams to life, you may feel that your heart is dulled Mis minimized or shut down. Small mindedness can limit beauty to a very narrow physical sense. However, you can shun the social disease of superficial, narrow definitions of beauty, thumb your nose at airbrushed images and dare to love what is. Honoring nature is one example. Give yourself permission to feel and be beautiful in many ways. You can feel harmonious outside of what is supposed to be harmonious. If you if you are brave and wild enough, you have you can find beauty and harmony amongst the chaos of change. Hmm. Where is it? But you have it. It's here. Um. <laughs> you can feel harmony outside. Give yourself permission to feel and be beautiful in many ways. You can feel harmony outside of what is supposed to be harmonious. If you are brave and wild enough, you can find beauty and harmony amongst the chaos of change. 
Sensing that change is just the creative process kicking into gear, realize that there is nothing to fear brings even greater beauty, harmony, surrender, and grace into the experience of life creating itself in more stunning forms through you. You are meant to dream of beauty and to create beauty, and it's far more holistic and creative definition. Beauty is meant to soothe the soul, inspire the thoughts of love, devotion, and appreciation, and to balance the nervous system. These are healing effects, healing for the creator and those that receive it. They are worthwhile. They are not meaningless, impractical, flippant, or trivial. A world of beauty, a world without the beauty of art in its various ways, the world without the beauty of art and all its various and unique interpretation will be a less colorful, less vibrant, less cheeky, and less healing place to be. Time that you spend dreaming of beauty and a lot, a lot, blah. Time that you spend dreaming of beauty and allowing it to be born through you in various heart center ways is worthwhile. Don't disregard it and discount it. The most beautiful dreams can inspire the practical, hardworking dedication required to bring them to life for your betterment of the world. For the betterment of the world. This oracle, this or, this oracle also comes with a particular message for you. There is a switch, there is a situation in your life right now where you feel uncertain about your ability to fix or heal. You lack the inspiration to be able to imagine it differently than how it currently seems to be. You may feel you may you may therefore feel inhabited in your ability to bring about constructive change. However, the perfect beauty of the situation is not revealed by what you attempt to do to do to it or through or through it. Oh, and temperance was right under it. Of course it was. Or through it trying to impose the right dream upon it. It is to be healed and perfected into all that it can be through the revelation of the beauty that already lies within. This happens when we accept the, accept the existence of inner harmony in all of creations, even if it cannot be consciously observed. By expecting there to be beauty within a situation, even if it is hidden, you will be more open to seeing the healing potential even in your challenges. Don't attempt to force the situation or issue to take the right shape. Instead, ask it to show you its beauty. This might, uh, this might apply to your body, to your relationship, to your finances, your work situation, a new creative project, or anything else. From this place of inquiry, you will be able, you will begin to grasp the creative genius of what is and unveil not only its potential beauty, but how perfect it is for you at this time, just as it is. And opening up to beauty within yourself, and opening up to beauty within yourself, your circumstances also open up to change. What we accept can change most easily. It, it, what we accept can change most easily. It is when we resist or deny that change slows and suffer it. What we accept can change most easily. It is when we resist or deny that change slowly. It is when we resist or deny that change slows down and suffering persists. You can overcome resistance and denial. You can overcome resistance and denial by approaching it with a curious mind, an open heart, and the healing process below. By the way, this oracle has come to you because you have the power to be a positive influence in whatever situation holds the most meaning for you right now. And you need to know that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Guys, it's all in your mind. Right under this was temperance. Balance yourself. Calm down, ground yourself down. Strength wanted to pop back up one more time. Don't pick up this drama from the past, leave it behind and step into your victory. I hope this message is beneficial for you guys. If you're interested in booking a reading, the information is in below. Please tell me what's your biggest takeaways and make sure you're listening to um, the general collective read because I think this will let you know again about this new day that here that's here and that it's time for you to see the beauty in your situation. Stop, look, stop focusing on the lack and look towards the abundance that is here for you. Guys, have a great day. Namaste. Ah, we did it.